What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of This is Top of List. Boop, boop. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we muscle this on out. Honestly, I'm just trying to go to work as quickly as possible and bang this thing out because the back end of the game is mean to me and it hurts my feelings and it makes me sad. So, no, everybody comes into work today. I don't care. Okay, you're drunk, so you can't come into work. I, I really wish we could in some way punish this bartender who keeps giving my cops free liquor on days that they have shifts. I feel like there's got to be a resolution here that we can make happen, and yet, I guess I can't. I don't think it would be too bad to just send a couple people over and, like, break his legs or something, but that's why they will never let me be the police chief, because I would just abuse my power nonstop, and it would ruin everything. It would ruin everything. This game hurts. This game in the back, like, nine is really kind of hurting me right now, to the point where I don't even know what to do with it anymore. I, I just kind of want to, like, go to bed and not play, you know? <laughs> The ghetto. Members of two rival gangs previously had an agreement to share power in the area, but the peace is violently broken down. Fight erupted involving over three dozen gang members, many of whom are carrying knives and clubs, even firearms. Okay, send whoever you want to send. I don't know. That looks decent enough. Just machine gun the crowd if they get too rowdy. Who cares? I'm clocked out. I'm like Boyd. I just want this to be over. I'm, I'm all for machine gunning crowds of people at this point if it just solves the crime wave. It's like, ah, whatever. It's fine. Just kill as many criminals as possible before you go out, police officers. Kill as many as you can. Employees of City Hall are organizing a fishing trip and they want you to ensure their privacy. You need to send a few police officers to clear off any fishermen and keep the pier free. Nope, don't care. Sorry, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray your brains all over the wall of your office in like four or five days, and so I'm really not beholden to you. These officers are needed for questioning. It'll take a few days, during which time they will be exempt from their duties. It's weird that they can do that in the middle of the day instead of at the beginning. Because they took the officers... So what happened... They took the officers two days ago, so I lost them from this morning, and then in the middle of the day it takes three more officers but does not give you the other officers back. Rough situation. Very, very rough situation. I mean, luckily, Matza and Beard Cell are not that good, so we didn't lose anybody other than Song. No, we lost Hidaka. Hidaka's not that bad. I think I can live with that. But with the callouts and everything else going on right now, it's just like, holy shit. What more staffing issues could I possibly have? Atticus Corp and an attempted murder. So they want five guys. The guards on my properties have gone on strike. They're demanding higher wages and a better social package. They're claiming they have a dangerous job, and now I can't afford to dismiss them all at once. Take too long to find adequate replacements. But it's not my style to give in to blackmail. I want you to send a few officers to visit the strike's leader, an impudent immigrant named Sergei Reznikov. Have a cup of tea and explain to him that he'll be returning to his homeland in pieces if he doesn't get his people back to work. And this one, attempted murder, my evil twin has snuck into the house and is trying to kill me so he can take my place. Please come save me, I've locked myself in my bedroom. I'm not going to do that one. Instead... That doesn't leave me with the strongest option here for staffing. Hey, $120,000 are back. Can I deposit this? No. So it's a display bug. Sure. Let's cash in and make as much money as possible. We're on our way out anyways. The man was out of his mind on drugs and mistook his own reflection in the mirror for an evil twin. Okay. Destruction of property. Dozens of immigrants carrying gasoline cans broke into the public library, assembled a pile of books on Eastern Europe, and set fire to it. The room is filled with visitors, including children. The perpetrators are continuing their attack, throwing more and more books on the fire. Send people over. A man with a bushy mustache has a teenager by the hair and is dragging him towards the blazing pile of books. You should know the communists wouldn't let you wear that iron in your ears, but now you should be a true citizen, cleansed in the flames of orthodoxy. Huh. Yeah, twist his hands behind his back. Take this dude down. We got time for these shenanigans. Atticus Corp sent $10,000 over, so that's good. 
that helps out a little bit. We still don't have enough money to hire another officer or another detective. But I'll keep an eye on it. And if we had a few more money-making opportunities, I think we could make out a little bit better here. But today, it's going all right. We have no car crashes, so that's a plus. I mean, normally by now we have like 10 car crashes, so what are you going to do? On the rape case, we've got a couple of things missing here. We can assemble this such that we assume that the dude raped her. And in fact, that might be the better plan is to keep the blues on the bottom. And the yellows on the top. So let's move all the blues down, the ones that assume that the dude raped her. We'll assemble both of these as best we can. So he, he arrives at the blue cups. She drinks from the blue cup. They... Go to the room. At the room, they start getting amorous. He doesn't have scissors in his hands on this one, though. I think it was her. I really sincerely do, but we're missing something with the case with her because it didn't like my order or something. I don't know. I mean, he gets her blouse off, he does his thing, and then blah, blah, blah. Or maybe he comes across like that. Either way, I don't think that's the... I, I'm really leaning away from this one right here. I don't think that's the solution. Instead... I think it was this one right here. Where it goes down something like that. But we're still missing something in this case. Although it could be something like this right here. She busts in, sees him, chases him off. That seems to be about the sequence that I give it, but it doesn't really seem to like either or. It's possible that there's something else in this right here. But Zimmerman said... We just kissed, then her psycho girlfriend Emily broke into the bedroom and shoved me out the door. So yeah, that would be the sequence of events right there, as far as I can tell. Assuming he's innocent and the friend did it. There was scissors. I mean, the scissors, fairly indicative in my opinion. We can swap some of this stuff around, but aside from that, there's not much that we can do. We've got some small amount of leeway, but not a lot. And I don't think there are any more frames. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe we need the equivalent picture of somebody standing over her, basically. Because they, so far, these are one for one. There's two versions of every single event. I don't know. We'll wait it out and we'll see. I I'm not sure. As far as the abduction goes, this one should be fairly open and shut. So they knocked her out. They stole children. So it's two black kids and a dark kid and a dark skinned girl. They drive off. The kids don't match up just yet, I don't think. I'm not sure. Of course, that one right there, they arrive earlier, and it looks like... I think we'd probably need one of them throwing the kids inside the vehicle, too. Because right now, all that we've got is them grabbing the kids. And the skin tones look about right on that one. The little kid has their face turned on that one, so I can't really tell. Two black boys and a dark-skinned girl. 
So see that one right there has two girls and a white boy. That one just has a white girl and a white, or I'm sorry, a white girl and a black girl. So I, I don't know. I think we're missing something on that one. I really sincerely do. And we've only really assigned people to the case like yesterday, so maybe we'll dig out a few more clues. It's almost the end of the day. Surprisingly, it was a really quiet day today, which is weird. Very, very weird. Normally, the game has been putting the boots to me. Today, they seem to have given me a pass. Nah, we're not going to play poker. I got the money I need to retire, and I'm just trying to make it through the end of the day. Or the end of the week. Teacher, today's students are hopeless. Kooky designer clothing collection found at dump. Iconic fashion designer Vincenzo Castaldo in insane asylum. Let's keep going. Come on, we gotta keep trucking through this thing. I think we can do it. I believe. You gotta believe with me. House burned last night and his father was inside. Yeah, but come in tomorrow. That's it? That's the only person that called out? Oh my god. We got really, really lucky. Okay. It's weird how we went from, like, beta tapes. Or no, we went from records to tapes to CDs all in the course of 180 days. We can send somebody over on that one. So let me take Beasley and Alejo off of whatever they're doing. There. And then we'll send them out to see what we can do here. She's the gallery director. Hopefully neither of them dies in a car accident. I don't want to send anybody out. I'm always worried somebody's going to die in a car accident. This game is rough like that. I shouldn't have taken the gas deal. I shouldn't have. It was a terrible mistake. An anonymous tip, criminals have set up a counterfeit printing operation on the top floor of an apartment house. Our sources allege that there are armed guards around the clock. Okay. This sounds like a job for... Maybe take Dixon off? That gives us, what, 23, 24, almost 3,000. Send Ravik out there, too, along with SWAT. Let's just make sure that they got the backup they need. And this still leaves us with enough of, diverse, uh, enough of a diverse force to where we can make it happen. So they picked up Tamara Eldiston. I think our gallery's building is the jewel of the city, but not everybody shares my feelings. The other day we were visited by Mayor Rogers' people. They brought in a huge amount of building materials and hoisted them up on the roof. Now it's impossible to get up there. I called Rogers personally, but the mayor said that while the gallery is living off money from the city, I don't have a say in the matter. Building materials are for the mayor's nephew, a student architect. He wants to build some sort of observation deck right on the roof of the gallery from which you can look into the future of modern art. What an awful sense of taste that man has. Okay. I mean, I think as far as our assault goes, I think we've basically got the layout. I mean, all of the high points have snipers. All of the windows have normal assault guys that said they go through windows. All of the water spots have water infiltrators. And all of the doors have breachers, and then this guy's up at the front, because he's the leader. I don't know. That seems about right to me. The only thing I'm a little bit sketch on is the leader. I don't really know where I would fit him in the whole equation. It was either someplace where there was a high concentration of soldiers, or something, but who knows. It's a fight in the suburbs. A fight broke out at Miss Mirren's weekly book club meeting. Okay, might as well send them out. Like, my problem here is I have so many under-level people that when I send out two guys, I'm like, oh, well, you might as well send out the lower-level guys, too, so they can get some freebies. How'd we do? Yay! I figured. I mean, we've got almost, like, 3,000 points over there. It seems unlikely to me that anybody's going to screw that up. Oh, we got $120,000 again. Man, to have 500 grand in your bank account, what would that feel like? That'd be the day. Most people in the United States say they can't get $500 at a moment's notice if they need to, let alone 500 grand. Good lord. They did a study on that the other day where they asked people if they could get $500 in cash within the next 48 hours, could they? And like, I was surprised at the volume of people that were just like, nah, I can't do it. Two men are wrestling on the floor. One of them is beating the other with a thick Dostoevsky volume, shouting, Fyodor Mikhailovich invented existentialism long before your stinking Sartre. 
<laughs> Pardon me, but what about Friedrich Schelling? We got a noise complaint in a residential area. An elderly male said he heard a crowd outside the apartments. People stomping around loudly with occasional noises that sounded like goddamn gunshots. Well, I mean, it's almost New Year's, isn't it? It's probably people with fireworks. I'm going to let that one go. We'll see what happens. I mean, I'm already under investigation. What are they going to do? Investigate me more? The people in the neighboring apartment were just celebrating the bar mitzvah of Abraham Oppenheim. Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Oppenheim, I guess. For you on your special day. Reckless driving. A patrol car was chasing a speeding vehicle through the city. The suspect refused to stop despite numerous demands. During the chase, the police car was pushed off the road and was unable to continue the pursuit. Wait till everybody else gets back and we'll sort it out. Alright, so we got a little bit of wiggle room right now. I would just send Dixon, Peterson, and just send a bunch of the Lobies, in all honesty. Just let them, yeah, just get them celebrating Children's Day. You need to take some bags of toys and crayons to the children's shelter right away. There's some journalists here. We need to say a few words about how the city cares, about the incredible support everyone's getting. Those are your lines. Now get moving. Alright, I'll send somebody over to this one, just because we've been doing good the last couple of days. On the rape report, we got a new picture of them kissing. What's the difference between the two? The one new frame is usually, usually you get them in bursts of three. So I'm thinking that maybe this did go down the way that we thought second. Maybe dude did do it, but there's no scissors. What's up with the scissors? Unless that's a false positive, I guess. So, there at the club, dude walks over, they do drinks, she drinks it, they go to the room, they're making out, she gets dizzy, She's out. Kind of mess with the order a little bit just in case. You can never tell. I don't know on this one. With the bigger investigations where there's so many frames in the middle, and the investigations are so inconsistent sometimes. Like, I've seen things where it's got information here where it says, like, 100% this happened, and then you'll put in a frame that doesn't match up with that line of reasoning. And so, anyways, it's kind of... It's tough. That's the way that I see it if the dude did it, and we had it arranged the way that I see it if the girl did it. I don't know, though. Something's got to be slightly off. Something has got to be slightly off. I can't decide if in that one, so she's out right now. So that one's definitely not it. I didn't see the girl in the foreground in that picture. The picture wasn't super clear. Okay, so that one has the girl knocked out in it. That's the one where... So that's the sequence of events as I see it if the girl did it. But I don't know. It's a tough one. Oh, and right here it says she gave me a little more of her drink. So, yeah, it's got to be the girl. So, we've got the order messed up in here somewhere. It's got to be the girl because she said that her friend gave her a little bit extra of her drink. Unless he roofied the friend's drink and the friend accidentally did it. But I just don't see that being the case.
Maybe there's one we're missing where he gets chased out of the room, but she's not in the picture. I wouldn't hold out for it, though, because once it usually gets to the point where it's only giving you one frame, it's already foregone, but I guess we'll wait a little while longer. We don't have the best investigators on some of this stuff. No car crashes? Uh -huh. Nobody want to crash their vehicle? Maybe that's over. Maybe that event finally, like, we outlasted it or something. I don't know. We haven't lost a cop in, like, two days now to car crashes, so I'm starting to wonder. Reckless driving got solved, so that's that. Hope we get a little bit of storyline. I don't like the big gaps in between the storyline in this game. But let's go ahead and just keep on plugging through. I see no reason not to keep on trucking. Just trying to get to the end of this one. Just trying to finish it off. Coming tomorrow, coming tomorrow. So we lost two pretty good guys today. That sucks. It sucks big time. Bukarika, you are in the pilot seat for a promotion. Let's go to work. Don't really care what we listen to. Completely irrelevant to me. Oh shit, my snitch. I forgot to take money out. City Hall's got more requests. Let's go for a detective slot, I guess. Hospital admitted a young woman named Judith Webb who has a history of drug problems. The doctor treated her for an overdose, but when she came to, she broke a glass bottle filled with saline, grabbed a shard of it like a knife, and sliced the nurse's face. A guard ran in, slipped in the puddle of saline, and knocked himself unconscious. Miss Webb took his gun and began to shoot at the patients and medical staff, demanding she be released immediately. Okay. Send some Can I not send SWAT? It's weird how they don't let you send SWAT a lot of the time. To stuff that you probably should send SWAT to. It seems like a call that SWAT would be on. She's shooting people. She's taking hostages. She's trying to do mass murder. I don't know. I want a tactical response team on that. But I guess not. Uh, Stephanie Aguilar was going to visit a friend but opened the wrong door and walked into the adjoining apartment where she found a serious drug lab. They were all unconscious according to the elderly woman apparently smoking angel dust or glue. Somehow they didn't even notice me. I don't really have anybody to send for something that could potentially be, like, really nasty. But I guess I'll send them. I don't know. They got SWAT back up. Which, to my mind, means that they got, like, 20 dudes backing them up. Or at least, like, 8 or 9 dudes for, like, a, you know, incursion team or whatever. So, at the shooting, they managed to pull that one in okay, so that's good. Hopefully they get home swiftly, because there was a lot of shit going on. There was an explosion at the park. A passing teenager swore to God that it seemed like somebody was firing shots inside the car. Hmm. Nobody in or near the car fired any shots. The fire and subsequent explosion were caused by a problem with the engine. Oh. Well, we got off the hook for that one. Mr. Boyd, we're featuring the police in our next issue of Sexy Uniform. We already have some old photo shoots of models in police clothes. We want to mix them up with some real cops on your staff. Freeburg police appeared in our magazine. It would only improve their image in the eyes of readers. I don't know if I'm going to have the opportunity. Mr. Boyd, I'm the manager of a big star, Manuel Torreblanca. A big star with a big problem. Torreblanca. One uh, that I hope you can help with. Manuel woke up in his room today and found a dead groupie in the bathroom. She came home with him from the club last night. It looked like she overdosed, but I want my client's name all over the newspapers. Not when they're likely to call him an addict, rapist, or murderer. To keep this quiet, I need two reliable men who can get rid of the body. Money's no issue. Men, well, just signed a contract for a new series. I may send somebody out on that. A staggering man suddenly bursts through the door. He takes no notice of the police, pulls down his pants, and begins to take a shit right there in the hallway. Handcuff him. Two unkept girls run out and said, Adolf, we did it. We scored some meth. Force him to the ground. A skinny bearded man with messy hair wearing rubber apron. He's dancing beside a table covered in Chemex flasks while two of the semi-conscious addicts applaud him. Just approach and arrest them. It's a drug bust, man. This should be policing 101. So, homicide. Dead guy. 
As soon as somebody gets back on this, I will probably send over J Boogie and Matza on that one, just so we can earn the money. And at the same time, we're not really sending anybody super useful over there. It looks like the game might be lightening up on me. I don't want to knock on wood just yet, but it seems like it might be giving me a pass for the last couple days. Today and like the last two days have not been nearly as bad as like the week in between, which was really kind of grinding me down. A waiter at the restaurant saw a rusty pickup truck drive into a pillar on the opposite side of the street. Now the driver is just sitting in the car singing songs in an awful voice. I think he's drunk as a skunk. Okay. Send some people over. I don't think that'll be our last call for the night, but it'll get us close. I don't like my bugged thingy over there. My little 120,000 readout. Like, I would love it if my bank account said 120,000. Chief, we wrapped the girl in a rug, carried her out, and buried her. You don't want to know the details, right? Exactly. Just... Jack, I didn't join the police to cover up violence against women. How do you know she didn't overdose, though? You're not a coroner. Mrs. Majid called in a complaint about a man with a shaved head who regularly extorts money from her. He comes in, pounds on the door, demands money. Money, money, money. It's like the only English word that he knows. It's probably a hobo. Labor market. We'll put you on B. You're better than the person we lost anyway, so who cares? Perfect. Should be good enough, and that will more than likely wrap up our day unless something crazy happens. Under the influence, those two were able to bring him in. Bring the liquor back to the police station. She surrendered her badge. Rape report. No new frames found. That's not a good thing. Three new frames for this one, though. These dudes dressed up like Mario and Wario up in this bitch. So they get out of the car. Wouldn't that be the first frame over here, though? I still don't feel like we have the right kids. Like, I still wait, feel like we're waiting for the two black boys and a dark-skinned girl. So there's a black boy, a white boy, and a dark-skinned girl, but... That's two girls and a white boy. We got the guy in the right suit on this one. Unless that's a boy with long hair, but I don't think so. I'm going to wait it out a little while longer and see what others comes through. Normally, they give you the right frames pretty early, so I'm probably just balking at the wrong time. I have no idea how to do the one with the uh, with the date rape. I've, I've put the sequences together as best I can, and I've swapped things around a little bit. But in actuality, that one's... Extortion has turned out to be the landlord, Mr. Setchin, who wanted his rent. City allowed a biker parade. They need police escorts. Send your people immediately. That's like right at the end of the night. Like, it's the end of the day right now. I'm going to allow them to respond. That's kind of a weird time to get that, though. I'm going to let them get there and see what happens. Just wanted to make sure I got credit for it. Uh, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of This is the Police. Whoop, whoop. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.